we have some breaking news from Samsung Display regarding its next generation 34 inch ultra wide QD OLED gaming monitor. Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. Hit that like button and subscribe for more breaking news throughout CES 2026. But getting right into it, we have some amazing news as Samsung Display is supplying these striped QD OLED panels to seven global monitor manufacturers, including Asus and MSI, for its new 2026 monitor models. Here from the Samsung Display newsroom, we have a 2026 QD OLED panel showcasing high performance features, including 21 by 9 ultra wide, 360 hertz refresh rate, and a peak brightness of 13 nits. Yes, friends, finally, QD OLED is getting brighter in the much needed peak department to go against tandem OLED. This will be an amazing update. Who knows what the future holds for 27 inch and 32 inch monitors? But if this panel can reach 1300 nits, 27 and 32 inches can't be far behind. The V stripe pixel structure enhances text readability, while the panels also offer a wider screen, smoother motion, and a faster response time for an optimal gaming experience. As stated here, Samsung Display has announced that it has begun mass production of the world's first 34-inch 360Hz QD OLED panel, featuring a V-stripe, vertical stripe pixel structure. Noting that the company has been supplying the panels to seven global monitor manufacturers, including Asus, MSI, and Gigabyte since December 2025. So since many manufacturers have been getting these panels already to be included in their versions of their specific monitor models, this sounds like it's coming very soon. Like I said, keep a look out here on a community post or in a future video. I will be on top of this, as it's finally time to upgrade our ultrawides. Here with the new V-stripe structure, it's aligned the red, green, and blue RGB subpixels vertically, shifting from the conventional triangular subpixel arrangement used in current QD OLED technology. Developed independently by Samsung Display for Quantum Dot Elements, the V-stripe structure improves the clarity of text edges, making it ideal for users who are engaged in text-intensive tasks, such as document editing, coding, or content creation. Many of you have been asking, with each iteration, each gen panel, does it improve text clarity? Samsung Display is stating, clearly, that this new V-Stripe structure is improving text clarity. So that will answer many of your questions. This may be the one, the monitor, to really improve that situation that many have been asking for. In addition, the new panel does feature a 21 by 9 ultra aspect ratio, 360 hertz refresh rate, and a peak brightness of 1300 nits. That is crazy, guys. Finally, True Black 500 visa certification. But the nits here, 1300 nits. That's what I've been asking for for QDO the technology and we finally have it. It's stating that the technology will be unveiled at CES 2026, starting January 6th. ASUS and MSI will introduce new monitor models featuring the panels, while Samsung Display will showcase the technology in its private booth during the event. Now, yes, friends, I'm sure Alienware, Samsung, among other manufacturers, Gigabyte, they already have these panels, and they're currently making their monitor models themselves. It seems here that Samsung Display is touting ASUS and MSI featuring these monitors on the show floor. So those monitors might be released pretty soon, faster than other manufacturers. But you never know. Alienware always likes to surprise us and release their monitors in January, February timeframe. But again, hit that subscribe button. I will give you that information as soon as they leak, as soon as they break. And of course, as soon as I can get my hands on one. And here with a bit more news, Samsung Display QD OLED shipments for the monitor market in QD OLED in 2025 are projected to reach 2.5 million units with a dominant 75 share expected. So here QD OLED is leading the way and we have the best technology, now an ultra wide, featuring that 1300 nits peak power with that amazing color volume, 360 hertz. And again, friends, it's coming very soon. On a personal note, from True Black 400 to True Black 500, that color volume will be seen, but not with that 1300 nits. This specific panel will give Tandem OLED a run for its money and it's going to be pretty cool to see this 34-inch versus LG's 39-inch monitor. But stay tuned, friends. There's so many more technologies ready to be unveiled from different sizes in QD OLED, OLED, and even Mini LED. Every single display manufacturer is surprising us and showing off new technology for CES 2026. So hit that like button so more people can see this video and know what to expect for the later in the year. And hit that subscribe button if you want more breaking news just like this video. CES 2026 is going to be amazing for us monitor enthusiasts. And I know there's going to be something for everyone. And that's always an amazing feeling. Check back later in the week as I'm sure more breaking news will happen. Thanks for watching, friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.